All right, so what's up, guys? See who angers you. Here with the uh, 2013 Subaru WRX. Put these, put these Continentals, these 245, 4018s on here this weekend. Set on a, on a set of nine inch wheels, and uh, thought I was gonna have clearance items, clearance problems in the front. Really didn't have them in the front as much as I did in the back. Seems they want to rub this lip right here. So, you know, as every good guy does. Go on uh, YouTube, found me some videos on how to roll the lip, and I'm uh, going to show you a little bit of that right now. All right, three things and four things you're going to need for this job. One is a floor jack, uh, helpful to have that. Uh, a heat gun, I think I picked this up at a local Harbor Freight for about $10, and uh, a baseball bat, a wooden baseball bat. Pick this one up, I uh, usually don't like to buy things to say this. Yeah. Anyhow, um, for what I'm using it for, uh, I'm not going to complain. Uh, T-ball bat, $9.99, Walmart. So, we got about $20 in our in our rolling project. Oh, I forgot, one more thing you're going to need for your fender rolling project is uh, some Red's Apple Ale, the official sponsor of uh, Subaru Fender Rolling. All right, we're going to start this right side now. What I've done is I've set the jack up to where the bat's just about straight. You want to start out just about straight, you're going to barely start bending this in. Working at about four or five inch increments, um, lots of heat. Make sure you put enough heat on it to where it's hot to the touch, but not not so much where you start bubbling the paint. Um, from the things I've read, mostly uh, about as hot as your car would be to the touch on a hundred degree day. You know, it's about where you want that paint temperature so it's pliable. Newer, newer cars, newer paint, a little bit of heat, and uh, it's supposed to be pretty good for it. So, I'm going to start rolling this now. After you make a couple passes, you'll notice that it gets a little easier to move. Tilting it down a little bit now. It's a little bit of fray here. It's just like a uh, sealant B line. It's going to go away. We're going to speed this process up a little bit. Same thing, you're going to heat, roll a little bit, repeat, heat, roll a little bit, repeat. Don't get it too hot. Small sections, take your time. Should take you about 30 to 40 minutes to roll a fender from what I've read, so let's speed this up a little bit. And now as we start to get it to roll in, you're going to notice that I'm going to have, you're, you're going to have more angle on this right here. Depends on your jack height, depends on how much clearance you got in here. But as you're pulling down, you're pushing this lip, you're rolling this lip more this way. So you want to do this gently, you don't want to be a, be a bear about it, but gently keep putting more and more pressure on it until you're, you're rolling this, so you're rolling the fender upward and inward. And, uh, just take your time. You know, don't get in a hurry. It's your, uh, it's your baby. So you know, you don't want to tear up your baby. Here we go again. Alright, I'm going to try to take a little intermission here and show you the progress. I'm only doing half the fender right now because I want to be able to show uh, the difference in the, in the width. As you see, as I'm coming back, the edge is a little more rolled. Let me close the camera here a little bit.
by rolling the fenders what we gain here at about probably about a quarter maybe a little over a quarter of an inch clearance inside inside the fender well there if you don't think a quarter of an inch is a big deal just ask your girlfriend she'll tell you hey man check me out like subscribe share with your friends uh, put new videos up all the time uh, this has been he who angers you and uh, you guys have a good day peace out